Hey my dear friends, once again welcome back to the channel. I am God of here and that's our 14th video of this series. So in today's video we're gonna fix the camera zoom functionality and also gonna create a weapon for our player to shoot some projectiles. So let's get started. But first as I always say if you're new in this channel then please check out our previous videos first. Also subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon. It's absolutely free. So now it's our project and if you remember that in the last video I was told you that whenever we will press right mouse button then the camera will zoom in by using field of view and the crosshair canvas will be enabled. Also we want our camera to move right here somewhere on the player's forehead otherwise zoom out and everything will be reversed like back to normal state. So we've already done half of stuff in the last video and now we just need to create a logic for camera to move on the player's forehead. So let's do that. First of all, open the camera follow script and here it's a very simple logic to camera follow script. But if in case you are already started forgetting that script, then you can revise that script anytime. I'll give its link on the card or in the description box. So here let's create a simple if statement and in it we will simply use mouse input like same as we were done in the weapon zoom script. So here if input dot get mouse button 1. Then the camera position which is transform dot position equal and now here we need another transform where we want to move our camera. So now we need a transform type variable to move our camera on the desired position okay so let's go all the way up and here let's create a transform type variable serialize field private transform and name it cam zoom pause and now here we can give that position to our camera so that our camera can move to that position cam zoom pause dot position so let's head back to the editor and now here we need to create an empty game object to get its position for our camera okay and in the player we will create an empty game object and name it cam zoom pause and move it a little bit up somewhere here 0.3 and a little bit back on the z axis if there is any need to tweak it then we will change it later on for now just drag it here in that empty slot and now hit the play button and for some reason our camera is too close to our player let's see why Okay, do you know why our camera is too close to the player? If you already noticed that, then just pause the video and take that simple challenge and try to fix it by your own. Well, welcome back again. And I hope you guys already completed that little challenge. But if not, then no problem. Let me tell you what's happening here. Look, if you remember that in the last video, we were played with field of view. At that time, we set field of view to 20. So that's why you see that currently it's set to 20 and we can't even able to manipulate it from the inspector tab since the game is on. So let's fix it. Here in the weapon zoom script, we set zoom out value to 20, but it should be 60. And also we need to change zoom in value to like 45. It should be fine, I think. Let's check it again. And now if I press right mouse button, then you see that the camera did move to desired position. Look, let me show you in the scene tab. You see that the camera does changes its position, but it's not what we want. It should focus on right front of our player. Well, we are getting that kind of behavior is because we are just calculating camera's position, but we also need to calculate camera's rotation too. Okay here, we need to match camera's rotation with the empty game object which is cam zoom pause let's do that we just need to write one simple line of code here transform dot rotation which is our camera rotation and then cam zoom pause dot rotation which is our empty game object rotation okay so let's test it hop back to the editor and let it compile hit the play button and here our first issue is fixed so now we are ready to go to create a weapon for our player. So let's do it. And now I'm gonna create a weapon by using game object. However, there are other ways too to create a weapon. 
but to make things simple and easy to understand I'm gonna go with the game objects and now let's create a 3d object sphere that script will be our projectile in other words it will be bullets name it projectile so our player is gonna shoot that sphere as a projectile to defend himself from the enemy here I'm creating a folder for our prefabs to make things tidy on the assets folder now let's make that projectile as a prefab by just dragging it in the prefab folder and delete it from the hierarchy tab so now let's create a script and name it weapon open it in the vs code or visual studio so here we need some variables first one is for to getting projectile prefab and then we want two more variables for a place where we will spawn our projectiles so let's create these variables serialized field private game object projectile prefab that's for our projectile and then other two variables are for spawn points so let's create them serialize field private and these variables are going to be transform type variables spawn point one and spawn point two because now we have got required variables so now let's create a logic for shooting projectiles and in the update again we will use a simple if statement if input.get mouse button zero then shoot projectile but how how we will shoot projectiles from our player now here instantiate method comes in the scene so what instantiate do okay let me clear it so we are using instantiate method whenever we want to spawn any game object in the game scene look here when i hover mouse on that then we see that it takes three parameters and nine overloads the first parameter is its original game object the object that we want to make a copy of and the second one is for position where the new game object or the clone object will spawn and third one is for rotation like the orientation of the new game object so to get more information about it i'll give you unity documentation link in the description box you should check out it will help you a lot for now let's instantiate our projectile and in the if statement whenever we will press left mouse button instantiate projectile prefab which we want to spawn and then the position which is spawn point one dot position and then the orientation which is transform dot rotation but because we want to instantiate two projectile from both hands in the same time so let's copy that line of code and change spawn point one to spawn point two although i don't like to duplicate codes because it makes code big dirty and complicated so i'll tell you another way to do that same task but first let's check it out so head back to the unity and here you see that we have three empty slots on the weapons on script so let's fill them first one is our projectile and another two are for spawn points so on the player we have two arms arm one and arm two and here in the cylinder i'm gonna create a spawn point which is just an empty game object and then i'll duplicate and drag it on the another arm note that there are no colliders on arms and cylinders because i removed colliders from both arms because i don't want to get collision with the player and the projectiles okay let's give these spawn points to the weapon script and now hit the play button and let's shoot look at that the projectiles are spawning from the player but these projectiles aren't moving like a bullet isn't it so to move projectile like a bullet we just need to create another separate script for our projectile behavior so that it can move forward like a bullet but cause this video is gonna be too long and I'm getting out of time so that's all in this video and in the next video we'll create a script to make the projectile behave like a bullet and also we'll make our weapon code more cleaner and easier to understand so till then keep learning keep practicing and i'll meet you in the further upcoming videos for now see you later